be daring, baby, dance the night away I let my head down if I want Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time Doesn't sound like fun I'd run a thousand miles if I could run with you Hello and good morning everyone from Remington Spa Railway Station here in the West Midlands, Warwickshire, Warwick District and today I'm actually going to be uh, doing some more of the Chiltern Mainline I am I'm going to be doing the section between uh, Dorridge and Remington Spa I've already done Dorridge so that doesn't need to be done today but the stations that I've got to cover today are Remington Spa which is the first station of, I'm at right now and then I've got to do Warwick, Warwick Parkway, Hatton and Rapworth and, and Rapworth is the dodgy one of the day because it only gets one train every two hours but I have so, but I have somewhat got a plan because I'm only going to actually have an hour at Rapworth because I'm getting the train that goes to Birmingham, Moore Street and I'm reversing and getting the same train back towards Remington Spa all right also for, for the purpose of doing this train line today because Warwick also gets only about an hourly service and because Hatton's also a bit gets a bit of a limited service I have actually bought a day ranger so I can go so I can go to Warwick Parkway if that makes sense and then come back to Warwick and then go to Hatton because the trains that stop at the Warwick stations don't usually stop at both it usually skips one or the other so that's why I've got to reverse and like come back if that makes sense. And uh, I'm filming this on the 12th of September. So rest in peace, Her Majesty the Queen. I am wearing dark out of respectful today. So yeah, rest in peace, Your Majesty the Queen. So I am going to make that's it a bit more professional four, today, yeah, just out three. of respect of the rest royal family. Well, anyway, I'm going to wait for my first train, well, which is the 1026 well. service. And I am going to film it in order, the stations, but the clips are going to be quite random if that makes sense. So I'm going to film them randomly, but when it comes to editing the video, they're not going to be uh, edited randomly. They're going to be edited in order of the stations I cover. Right. Anyway, I'm waiting for the train, but Remington Spa, let's start off. It is the Chiltern Railways run, and it's got four platforms, and you also get West Midlands Railway and Cross Country Services also stopping here. So yeah, let's wait for the train. Service to Nuneaton, for Lane at That's the train to uh, London Marybone from Birmingham to No Hill. All right, we now made it to Warwick, which is a Chiltern Railways run station. It's got two platforms. And you also get limited West Midlands Railway services stopping here. And I should also mention that at Remington Spa, you could change for Remington Town Centre. Warwick Parkway, as I mentioned, whilst there's there is a park and ride station. Then Warwick, this is the main station for the Town Centre and the castle and uh yeah right you see that set of points down the bottom of that workstation this platform which is platform number two is actually bi-directional you can actually reverse trains here on platform number two to head back north in the event of an emergency and engineering works etc and also they're doing it uh with a few of the limited children railways ones the stratford shuttles and Birmingham shuttles from Remington sometimes do that all helps if I show what I'm showing but yeah they actually um use that set of points up there I just thought I'd point that out 
whilst I'm waiting for the train and filming trains here at uh, Wilk. And also, similar to a few other stations now, you can see the next two signals along. You can, which is quite fascinating. Right, I've crossed over to platform number one because this is the, tr the, uh, the platform that my train departs from. And also there's a freight train due. And also, my goodness, they do have to keep people coming fit at this station, don't they, with all the stairs. Jesus. Ooh, I'm out of breath now after all that uh, climbing up and down stairs to cross the platform. Here's the freight. We're going to Southampton. comes the 68 hold locomotive to Birmingham Moor Street from London Mybo. Always good to see that beast. Prefer it to 168, more seating. Right here's the train. The return of 165008 running from Remington Spa to Stratford upon Avon. Right, so we've made it to Warwick Parkway, which is a Chiltern Railways run station. It's got two platforms. You also get limited westbound as well, I stop in here. And this station was effectively built, I want to say around 2002, for the park and ride station, basically. That's what this station's here for. It's not like, like it's kind of a little bit in the middle of nowhere, like some of these park and ride stations. I do actually wonder how many park and ride stations there actually is in the UK now. Uh, but we're not got long here because we've only actually got five minutes here because I need to get over to the other platform. I do then hopefully not miss the train because as I said at Lovington Spa, I'm going one station and coming back the next one if that makes any sense. And so yeah, so yeah, Warwick Parkway, you get the tick. And it's also my, also my first time out on the platform because I've been to Warwick. I have already before, but I've never been to Warwick Parkway. Sound like fun You can do better Let me show you what a good time looks like You can do better So much better There goes the train to Stratford upon Avon from Levington Spa. See ya. 165006. Right, here we have another freight train. Not sure where it's going though.
Right, we've now made it to Hatton, one of the more dodgier stations to do on the Chiltern Main Line. Not as dodgy as Lapworth, which we'll do in a minute, but this station only gets an hourly service, but it's actually an hourly service shuttling between Leamington Spa and Stratford Bernathan, and then the next hour it shuttles between Leamington Spa and Barrick and Moore Street and vice versa. It's slightly different in the peak because there's a few more trains and you also get limited West Midlands Railway stopping here. It is three platforms, because in a minute I'll show you why there's three platforms as well. And then, as well as uh, having three platforms, you can change at Hatton for Hatton Country World, even though it's probably easiest to go to Hatton Country World from Warwick, because obviously Hatton is an unstaffed open-air station. Warwick is open-air, but it does have a staff member there. There was a lady in the ticket office but this station is complete and staff and the facilities when i watched tico's vlog they date back to the women 1960s and they're very basic and the departure boards do not work helpful see ya it is drizzling a bit but for september it is still relatively warm it's still around 21 degrees it is so yeah Right, them two lines head towards um, Birmingham Moor Street and then if you just care if you bend it through left of that tunnel them lines take you towards Stratford Upper Navon via the Beery branch they do and then that way just goes towards Leamington Spa and then further beyond to London Marybone etc Right, well, here comes 2 to 1, 1, 3, 6 to Banbury from Newcastle. Right, here comes the Chilton Railway service um, to uh, Remington Spa from Barrick and Moore Street. Then this is actually going to be my train for the next two hours to do uh, Lapworth. It is... One six five zero ten, and there's nobody waiting to get off, get on it. So I wonder if anyone actually gets off. Right, you know how I said that the, f the facilities date to the nineteen blooming sixties. You've got a worn out shelter here, two benches, one there, one one further up. You've got a help point, which I'm not even going to press because I don't need to. This, we've got uh, two bins we have and then a permit to travel machine as well as a bridge which looks like it's about to fall apart and then some information boards which don't work thumbs up it does have announcements as well though, so that is a little bit handy so you know what um, platform your train's going on because if you're turning up here you might actually not not even know what uh, platform your train's going on if you're going to Stratford, Birmingham or Leamington. Yuck, it's chucking it down now. Glad I'm taking refuge in this shelter. Right, here comes Birmingham Moor Street, London, my bone. 168113 and then here's the freight. Six six seven three six. Eastly to Mont Soro. Here's the train. One six six zero ten. Right, well, there goes 165010 to Birmingham Moor Street from Leamington Spa. I'll see that train in an hour. See ya. I'll see you in an hour. <laughs> right, we've now made it to the uh, awkward station of the day, Lapworth. Because this station only gets one train every two hours, but we're only here for an hour. Because obviously I've got a day ranger, and because 
um, I don't want to spend two hours here. I'm going to get the uh, same train, the same unit, but it's going up to Birmingham Moor Street, back down towards Leamington. I was, I was actually having um, a joke with the conductor there. <laughs> he was asking me, you all right? And I, said, and I said, I'll see you in an hour. <laughs> it might not be the same conductor, but certainly they're going to be the same uh, unit. And my train, when it does go back to Leamington, it will be going from platform number one and I'm on currently on platform number two. I'm going to switch over in a couple of minutes. I am. It's slightly staggered actually. It is because platform number two goes slightly further down. But then platform one starts here. As well as uh, seeing Chiltern Railway Stations and having two platforms here at uh, Lapworth. Did I say Chiltern Railway Stations? I meant Chiltern Railway Services and having two platforms at Lapworth. You do get a limited West Midlands Railway, but most of the West Midlands services, which which curve off towards Stratford, that run via Dorridge every hour, they'd skip this station, but I will film that when it passes through. I will do. I actually thought it was still raining for a minute then, but then I realised it was the uh, the water dripping from the trees. I did. There goes the cross country from Banbury to uh, Newcastle and need miss filming it. I did. That's two to one, one three six, the return of that service. And he gave me a horn and I missed it. I think he gave me a horn though because I think he didn't see, think I saw, didn't see him coming. And I actually, he's actually right because I didn't see him coming. So I'm actually kind of glad he gave me a horn. I wasn't stood behind the yellow line, if that makes sense. I was stood about here, but I didn't see him coming. So I'm actually kind of glad he gave me a horn then. Right, here's the timetable board. That's the train we're getting in the 1357. As I said, there's a few limited uh, West Midlands Railway ones. They're still saying LM for London Midland. But there's only actually a few a day that go to other destinations like Stalbridge or London Marybone. There's a few of them a day. There is. Hang on, that can't be right. I know you have to change for that one. A few of them are saying you have to change, for example, to get to Dorridge, not Dorridge. What's the other one? Um, what's the other one where you, oh, this one, Hagley. You could change at like Dorridge instead because there's only two of them a day. But yeah, I just thought I'd point out the board and we are, where are we? The board's wet. We're there, Lapworth, just before the curve, and we're going to bounce right. back to Gummington Spa. We are. And there's also a permit to travel machine. It is actually, I think it's actually working, so I'm going to put 5 or 10p in and get myself a souvenir. on that. Right, again, facilities here at Lapworth date back to the 1960s. Very, very basic, although that, that shelter, not shelter, bike rack there, I don't think there was a bike rack, a bike rack at Hatton, but the boards here are actually at Lapworth are actually working. You probably can't see that because the camera never focuses on them boards. And then you've got your two shelters, Again, a footbridge looks like it's going to be falling apart. And then a flower pot over there, which is nice. Nice touch. Actually, there's a few. There's some down here as well. And, um, yeah. And also, this station kind of reminds me of King Sutton further down in Northamptonshire, just on the border of Oxfordshire. Although King Sutton got slightly more trains that kind of got the same service pattern as Hatton it did. I think there's one train a day from here that actually calls up King Sutton. Well, I got my second permit to travel souvenir. I've already got one at Hatton last year. But yeah, I'm actually kind of glad this was working because the one at King Sutton wasn't actually working. Right, here comes Kidderminster Stratford upon Avon, West Midlands Railway. One seven two one zero four and one seven two zero zero three. 
Well, I'm not sure if you'd classify these facilities as being part of the station, but you've also got a post box and a telephone box, which has no telephone. And a noisy road next to the station. There's another freight train. I honestly didn't see that one on real time trains. So I'm just casually sat in the waiting shelter, unaware that a freight train's about to go through. Right then folks, I think I'm gonna end this vlog here. If there's anything else, like freight or anything, but I don't think there is, I'll put it in before this clip. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed part two of the Chiltern Main Line. Part three, which will take me f uh, in the Banbury area, probably cover Bist or something. That will be done in the future. I'm not sure if it will be this year or next year because obviously if it's coming into the winter months now, light levels are restricted. So, um, yeah. And also, in case you're wondering about me doing the um, the Beery branch, uh, Stratford to Remington line, I have no plans to do it as of yet because Beery and Claverdon stations, when I say they get an awkward timetable, I mean they get an awkward timetable. I think Beery only gets a train like every four hours so I'll, I'll i'm gonna really have to look into doing that section before i do it because i had to think about doing this section today because because this one this bit was quite hard to do with lapworth being a bit of a dodgy station but we managed to do it so hope everyone enjoyed the vlog if you want to become a member for some more exclusive packs feel free to click the join button down there and then once again I try to be as respectful as possible when filming this vlog because I know we are currently in the UK morning period. We are at the time of recording. So once again, rest in peace, Her Majesty the Queen. My thoughts and prayers go, do go out to all the royal family and um, the Commonwealth countries. But anyway, I do hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you did, make sure you guys give me a thumbs up, please. And comment down below some feedback will be appreciated. And if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. We're trying to get to 2,000 subscribers. And have the bell for all notifications so you never miss another video or live stream. Right, take care everybody. Bye you guys. Peace out. Let's get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time. Doesn't sound like